let's take a look at installing uh, installing R on Mac. Now I'm not that great at Mac, so I'll go ahead and apologize. That let's see, go to the Safari here. And um, we'll type in um, cran.r-project.org slash bin slash mac os x. And um, let's see. They want to install one of the binaries. You do not want to install uh, sources unless you're a programmer. Uh, so we're going to look for the binary. Um, you have to look for your appropriate uh, operating system for Mac. Uh, this is a binary for OS X 10.11, El Capitan, and higher. Uh, so I'll, I'll click uh, this link. And it comes down here. If I um so I got my downloads. If I click that, I'm gonna choose that option. Mine's up here at top. You won't have all these. Um these are based upon an app development class I, I was teaching. <laughs> so if you're wondering about the strange Strange naming and so forth. Okay, it looks like it's done downloading. So uh, let me click this now. Maybe double click it. This is our guide you through the steps necessary to set up R. Great truth. Okay. Click continue. And then I'll click um, continue again. And continue. Uh, agree to it. And then I'll click install. Um, now I'm set up as a standard. I think I'm set up as a standard user in this. Um, but anyway, I'm going to use my touch ID. So I recognized who I was. But you could enter a password if it asks you for the password. And click close. Uh, do you want to move uh, to the trash? I'm going to say keep, just in case I have to install it again. Now, sometimes uh, in Mac, I have hard trouble, trouble finding uh, items after I install it. And here's a launch pad over here. If I click that, then I see R here. So I'll click that. And it comes up with this. And um, from there, it says uh, review the section near the end of the document, set in the default directory. Probably shouldn't have to do that. Um, Okay, it looks like it's um, installed and everything. Uh, so that's how you'd set up R on a, a Mac.